It's back to school time. So we send another group of students back into their mission field, their school. We want to give them and their moms and dads and the entire church some tools to help us see a generation of students reaching students. When I think about back to school, I think about movements of students. I'm reminded that movements start with prayer. And one of the tools that we think can really help our churches and our students is the 714 prayer app. When I think about praying, I think about praying without ceasing, which is intimidating and in my life often guilt-inducing. But I need to ask myself the question, you know, how do we make prayer an ongoing conversation with God? How do I do that? How does my family do that? How do the students across our fellowship do that? How do moms, dads, pastors, youth leaders, how do all of us do that? Well, 714 Prayer App is one tool that can help. Let me encourage you this fall as you're in churches. Challenge people. Give them the opportunity as you're preparing to speak. In just a minute or two, buzz through some of the following bullet points I'm going to give you and ask them right then to just download the prayer app and maybe make it an application point at the end of your message. There are several things that the prayer app can help us as we go back to school. One is simply the five friend focus. You can tap on the button, log into Facebook, and immediately import the photos of your friends that you want to pray for this school year. Another is adopt a school. By hitting your location, it'll put all of the schools in your area right there for you to choose from. You can type in the zip code of a student that maybe lives in another state, maybe a relative that a grandparent or someone else wants to pray for that's across the country, and add that school in. When my sons downloaded the prayer app, they immediately looked for their school, added that in there. There's also weekly grow videos to help students understand what prayer is. We've built discipleship into the prayer app. It'll focus on conversations that God had with us throughout the Bible and help students continue to have those conversations. There's also personalized prayer lists. We have a family prayer list that we can add specific items to. A pastor or a youth leader can create one for the youth ministry or for the church. And every sermon can say, hey, add to your prayer list this application point or this point to pray about this week and make that a way to encourage prayer and application throughout the week. There are several ways that a student can use the prayer app. There are reminders on here that'll help you begin to pray regularly. Mine goes off at 7.14 every morning. That's about the time Nathan and I are leaving for school, so we immediately pray for the day, different things that he has going or I have going. Uh, it can also serve to help students to remember to pray maybe at lunch. Maybe they set a silent reminder to go off and right at lunchtime, they feel that little vibration in their pocket from their touch or their phone. And it's like, oh, yeah, I need to pray over lunch. So they bow their head and say a silent prayer. And maybe God starts a conversation when someone asks, hey, were you praying over your meal? Maybe it serves as a reminder to do a prayer walk to a specific class once a day. And every day at that time, it goes off, oh, yeah. And as the Spirit leads them to pray for different students that they see or different groups of students or different parts of the school, they can make prayer a regular part of their day. Or maybe it's just a silent prayer for those sitting around them in the first class that they have every day. You know, adults can adapt the prayer reminder and do the same thing to whatever time works for them. But the 714 Prayer App, it helps our family, it'll help you. It helps all of us find ways to make prayer a normal part of the rhythm of your day. It's back to school. If I could ask you to do one thing, as you're standing in front of leaders, in front of students, in front of churches this fall, movements start with prayer. Encourage people to download the 714 prayer app, adapt it to their world, and use it so that as we talk with God, God will help us talk to our friends about him.